everybody, Sarah here with Keys of the Kingdom, and I am so excited to be reviewing this beautiful Bible today. Special thank you to Thomas Nelson, HarperCollins Publishing, for sending me this Bible in exchange for my honest review of it. And let's just go ahead and dig into this beautiful Bible. So this is the Thomas Nelson NET Bible Full Notes Edition. So it's New English Translation, and this has over 60,000 translators notes, the largest set ever created, provided, uh, provide complete transparency to every major translation decision, so you can see the detail and nuance of scripture for yourself. And this is the teal leather soft cover. This, so this is the box that it comes in, NET Bible Full Notes Edition Teal Leather Soft. NET, Thomas Nelson down here at the bottom. And then on the back of the box, it comes with an actual size text picture. So you can see it here. And then it shows you what the inside looks like, which is nice. And then it tells you features of the Bible, unprecedented 60,000 translators notes, make scripture transparent like never before. So it's got in parentheses TN, translator notes, explain the rationale for the translation and give alternate interpretive options. SN, study notes, offer historical and cultural background as well as theological insight. TC, text critical notes, highlight alternative readings found in various manuscripts. Elegant line match designs make this make the NET uniquely beautiful and functional, combining inspiration from medieval manuscripts with the best in modern typographic techniques. Eight and three quarter point single column scripture text with seven and a quarter point notes. Durable Smithstone binding lays flat in your hand or on your desk. The NET Bible is a Bible you can trust. Chuck, Squint, Chuck Swindoll. The NET belongs within arm's reach. Joel B. Green. It is a rare day of study that I don't consult my NET Bible. Beth Moore. Okay, let us go ahead and dig into this beautiful Bible. Okay, so here it is. I'm move the box out of my way. Okay. So this is the Teal Leather Soft Bible. It is just a beautiful teal. It's leather-like. And here is your spine, NET Bible, Full Notes Edition, NET Thomas Nelson. And the back is just blank. And it has the, the number of the Bible down there, the ISBN number. Okay, so it's got the, this Bible is presented to you page, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, and then let's take a look here at the Holy Bible, and it's got contents from the NET Bible team to the reader, features, the Old Testament, the New Testament. Okay, so from the NET Bible team and to the reader, a brief introduction to the NET translation. Features of the NET Bible Full Notes Edition. So it's got a lot of great information here. The NET translation team. So it tells who all has been involved in the translation there. And goes into, of course, the Old Testament. And so there's a lot of notes on this page, but here are what the pages look like. So you can see this is the scripture piece on this page. These are all notes regarding this scripture. So let's find it. There's a good page. These are this. This is a good example here 
in these pages. It's got bunches of scripture, and it's just the one column in the middle. And then it's surrounded by notes that takes you to the Greek and the Hebrew texts to tell you about what you are reading in the scripture, which I personally find fabulous. I have a good number of Bibles, uh, some of which are study Bibles, and I, I personally really, really like this, this particular Bible. I love the layout, the design, its look. It's got a nice, large 8.75 font, again, and this font in this Bible is actually Thomas Nelson's exclusive NET Comfort Print typeface. So it is not a, it's not a different font, it's actually exclusive to this particular Bible. And I really, really love the way that this Bible is laid out. And I also have to add in that I love this study Bible because it has so much information. It goes back to the original Greek and Hebrew text. And I also really enjoy the fact that it actually does not have commentary. Like you would typically think of commentary. It's taking you back to the actual original text versus telling you what I think the scripture says. Because a lot of commentary, I mean, that's, that's what commentary is. And... I personally have found, even just recently in some of my study Bibles, commentary that I personally disagree with. I don't think it's accurate. And so that's one of the things that I really, really like about this Bible is that it's it's not someone else's opinion of what the text is saying. It's going back to the Greek and the Hebrew and giving you that opportunity to see what the Greek and the Hebrew says. And then so that way you can go to God and ask for revelation knowledge for yourself. And there are there are definitely, don't get me wrong, there's definitely a lot of great commentary out there and a lot of it is very helpful, but I also believe that uh, don't take 100% of commentary that you read in, in any Bible as gospel truth because that's someone else's interpretation of what the actual scripture says. So you need to go to God and get revelation from the Holy Spirit on that. So again, that's just one of the things that I really like it, about this Bible, is that it's, it's not commentary, it's notes, and going back to the original Greek and Hebrew for you to be able to do that. And so this is really, really just a beautiful layout here. And I just love... I really just love everything about this Bible. It has, let's find my bookmarks here. This one has two really nice ribbon bookmarks. We have this pretty gold color. And then it also has this beautiful teal bookmark. So this kind of coordinates uh, really well with, with the color of the cover of the Bible itself. It has this beautiful gold gilding all the way around the pages of the Bible and that's beautiful. I love that. It looks very sleek and nice. And I'm going to get a measurement for you on this Bible even though it has it listed up on the, the website of what it is. Uh, let's see. This actually is about a six and a half inch by a nine and a half inch or uh, I'm just shy of 17 centimeters by 24 centimeters and let's see let's see how thick we are here about five centimeters which is just shy of two inches 
and so this is a fairly thick Bible. It is, you could easily take it to church with you still, but it's, 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 it's kind of a thicker Bible, but it has so much wonderful information in it. And I honestly go to this Bible uh, quite frequently. I had uh, another one of these that I gave away, but so I'm thrilled to be reviewing this one because I'm going to keep this particular Bible. And I just, I just really love this Bible because I, I'm a fan of a handful of different translations. And I just really like this translation, but then I also love, again, the notes in this because I can read a different translation and something in me will say, oh, I remember it saying such and such, uh, maybe a different word or something. And then I can come here, even though I have a handful of other translations, and get the, the meaning of the word that I'm looking for. And I don't have to go get my concordance out, although I do reference that still too. But this is a really, really great tool and I just love this Bible so much. So I am really, really excited to be able to actually start using this particular Bible. So in the back of the Bible here, this says NET Bible Principles of Translation. And then it tells you uh, some of the decisions and tools and kind of, uh, kind of the decision-making process for the translation itself. And then it gives you abbreviations for biblical books and non-biblical literature. So that's really nice. General abbreviations, which is really helpful. Sometimes you can see abbreviations anywhere, but also in a Bible for sure and wonder what in the world is that supposed to mean? And so that's helpful. List of cited works. So it's got other works cited in here, and then you can see what all those works are, which is nice. There are evidently quite a few of those cited works. It's just really such a great tool, and it's filled with so much information. Okay, let's go back a page. Abbreviations and introduction to principal manuscript evidence for the Greek New Testament. Oh, that's awesome. Really cool. Really nice, I like that. Greek and Hebrew transliteration. So it goes through and gives you some information about the Greek and the Hebrew. And then we have maps, full color maps, which are beautiful. And there are quite a few, which is nice. Kingdom of David and Solomon, Jesus' ministry, Paul's missionary journeys, some of the typical maps, and Jerusalem at the time of Jesus. And so there you have it. And you have a nice thick page in the back here, but the other side is teal. And I believe, it, yeah, it matches the same there in the front. So that's really nice. That is just such a beautiful Bible. And so I am really excited to be able to share this with you. I have a second one and I am giving it away. So in order to be entered in the giveaway to win this NET Bible, I would like you to comment on this video and tell me what your favorite feature of this Bible is and why. So good luck to you and Thank you all for watching. I hope that this has encouraged you to go take a look at this. I will link this Bible. You can get it at a handful of places. I found it for sale actually right now on Amazon listed at $51.97. The list price of this Bible is originally $69.99. And so that's a fairly decent price for this Bible, $51.97 on sale right now. And I will list that again for you below the video. So take a look. And there are some other options as far as colors. And they also have a real leather one that is uh, a really nice 
really nice Bible. So I'm excited. Enter by commenting below. Again, what is your favorite feature of this Bible and tell me why. God bless you guys. I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new videos. Goodbye.